Good up, I see you are this sad like media. Mr. Rafumbechi, let us understand uh, what is happening. The Finland based Biafra agitator Simon Epa may be in um, serious problem because, from what we are seeing, the Finnish uh, foreign affairs minister was in Abuja where he, she had conversation with his Nigerian counterpart, her Nigerian counterpart over the possibility of uh, extraditing Simon Epa to Nigeria. It looks as if uh, Simon Epa may face the same fate with Jim no, 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 it is a lie. Listen and listen good. Is uh, under international law, not under Nigerian constitution, that one, any region in the world that feel over marginalized, I use the word over because Biafra is done, that the contraption is not giving them such region their own benefit or cheer part of their commonwealth. I think such region has right to do what? Agitate for self determination. Are you listening to me? The reason why Biafra agitation is tickling up since 2014 is because of what is happening to Igbo man from 1970 till date, 54 years ago. The, 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 uh, the agenda of reconciliation, reconstruction, rehabilitation by Go On has failed. Nobody has reintegrated the Igbo into Nigerian political system. What is happening within Nigerian setup is outside Yoruba Fulani. They even did they are worst when they allow the so-called South South people to become president in 20 after okay let me say after Yaradua because that man wasn't Igbo man he is not currently Jonathan told the whole world that is not good luck a belly Jonathan they just know how to you know craft out some criminalities and sell it out to the members of the world or public listen and listen good see Simon Epa eh? listen you know, to my own word though it is the Finnish ambas ambassador to Nigeria that was selling, you know, sold that kind of allegation to by Nigerian government. And the woman actually positively responded to Nigerian government that it should be handled by the Finnish, what? Judiciary. I mean judiciary in Finland. Listen and listen. It is the court in Finland that will handle Simon Epa. It is not Mary Odele, Scott. It can never be Abdullahi or Angu Abdullahi or Mohamed Bello's court. It can never be Malami's presided court or Abuja. No. The court in Finland. Yes, of course, you know that Finland, they are the Nordic. The Nordic are the Sp Scandinavians. They are the cool region in Europe. They are Iceland, Finland, uh, Oslo, Norway, uh, Denmark, Denmark uh, Sweden. I listen to me. They are the Scandinavians. They are the most advanced countries in Europe. More advanced than this socialist Britain. So listen and listen good. They don't bend their law. They are very good. You can never see any Finland man living in Britain in such of greener passion. <laughs> green passion core. Because there are greens in Finland. Everywhere is green there. You know what I mean? Figuratively, I'm trying to tell you that the economy of Finland, advancement into science and technology in Finland, is far, far better than what is happening in the UK. UK that has been taken over by the Arabs, the Indians, and the rest of Asian countries. To help them build London after Blaze, after, okay, let me not just yab United Kingdom. Do you know that Hitler have to, have to absolutely decimated UK, Britain? And that's why you have these Arabs and India there, and Japanese, after helping them to build London. So what I'm trying to say is that Scandinavian countries are more more far far advanced than the uk so what i'm trying to say now is that the judiciary that way the court that we handle someone case is not abuja court okay, that's it's that's not london court and it's not going to be uhuru court or the current william uh Ritu. what's the name of that current uh, uh kenyan president see they don't bend laws in the scandinavian world if they try biafra they will find out in finland that the same struggle that Finland was struggling, fighting for, before 1956, independence of Finland from USSR, is what Simon Ewan and Dekanu and somebody like us, me, are fighting. So, see, Biafra struggle, Finland struggle, the rest of the federatives that have scattered away, that have broken away from USSR, is the same cause that Biafra is fighting. See, Oga, if you want to know what I'm saying now, go and ask Benjamin Netanyahu. Vladimir Putin or the Finland Prime Minister, they will give you 
good briefings on what I'm saying. Okay, let us look at it from the, this angle because we understand that Nigeria currently do not enjoy extradition treaty with Finland. And uh, when Nandi Kalu was brought back from Kenya to Nigeria, a court in Nigeria, specifically Court of Appeal, have ruled that Nandi Kalu was extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria. But federal government refused to let him go. Do you think federal government in Nigeria will go the illegal way this summer? Yeah, they can't go the illegal way because uh, Finland is not finished. They are Finnish country as in adjectival, you know, uh, qualification of that word, Finland. But Finland is not finished. Nigeria is the country that is finished. If they go it legal way by sending assassins and the kidnappers and abductors to Omsky, Finland, to bring uh, uh, Simon Epa, as they did to Nandekanu, you will find out that Nigeria will go down. No, 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 no. Finland can never take that from any country. See, they are going in the illegal way within the contraption of Nigeria and Africa because of what transpired four years ago in Kenya when they abducted Nandekanu, rendered him to Nigeria. But it can't happen in Finland. Let them go illegal way within Nigeria. And I pray that God, God Almighty, will put Nigeria in trouble. Do you know how? By pressing Nigeria to go its illegal way, illegally in Finland, so that such culprits, perpetrators, might be arrested. And when they are arrested, that is when Nigeria will know what we are saying that there are countries that are built, well organized, based on God's principle. Okay? Don't end up this program, because, see, the, the ambassador himself is a woman. He's telling them that they, uh, that they are going to handle it in their own way, in their judiciary. It's not a judiciary or court headed by Mary Odele, headed by Ariwola, CGM, the Yoruba chief judge, that handed over mandate that belong to Obito Tunubu. Let us tell the world the truth. Okay? In Finland, a qualified chief judge will try that matter. Okay? Nigeria is not working as a country. This is a Wayo country, criminalized country. Thank you very much, Mr. Rafa.